Hi there! Welcome back to Korean with Rose. Today, I've brought some Korean medical vocabulary. I've made short videos about this Korean medical vocabulary and it turned out that people quite liked it. I thought it will be good for you guys if I tell you more about this Korean medical vocabulary. Today is all about Korean medical vocabulary. I hope you like it. So, we'll talk about hospital vocabulary first. Hospital is 병원. 병원 in Korean. Small doctor's clinic is called 개인 병원 in Korean. And big hospitals are called 대학 병원 or 상급 종합 병원. It's called 대학 병원 because most of the hospitals, most of the big hospitals have their own university, have their own medical school. University is called 대학 in Korean. That's why we call 대학 병원. What's in the hospital? The first thing that comes up in my mind is 응급실. 응급실 is A&E, accident and emergency. 응급실은 24시간 열려 있어요. This is the good part of A&E. Once I was bitten by my dog and I had to visit, I had to go to A&E and it was scary. And, and another thing that comes up in my mind is 중환자실. It's ICU. 중환자실에는 위중한 상태의 환자들이 있어요. And there are wards in hospital, right? Wards are called 병동. 병동. And of course, doctors and nurses. In terms of doctors, there are different titles, right? The doctors who are doing the internship called intern in Korean and junior doctor is called resident and then the senior doctor is called 교수님 교수 we call them 교수 you might think that oh 교수 is means professor so does that mean they teach does that mean they teach at university not quite. Even if they don't teach at university, we call consultant as 교수님, 교수, 교수님. And then 간호사 for nurse, care assistant, 조무사. I'm not a medical professional, so I can't tell you more about medical equipment, but I do know about this, this basic medical equipment. It's called 청진기. 청진기. And what doctors do is to diagnose. It's called 진단하다. 의사는 병을 진단합니다. 의사는 환자의 상태를 진단합니다. And then prescription, 처방전. 처방전을 가지고 약국에 갔어요. 입원, 퇴원. 입원한 지 일주일 만에 퇴원했어요. The thing that scares you a lot is 주사기. That pointy little needle, it's so scary. What you wear at hospital is called 환자복. The chemotherapy. It's called 항암. 화학요법 but we just call it 항암치료 The next thing is medical daily vocabulary The first thing is 반창고 or 밴드 반창고를 붙이다 밴드를 붙이다 Pay attention to the verb I am using after this noun 
certain verbs are used with these nouns. So unfortunately, you can't use any verbs. So you have to use certain verbs with these nouns. So pay attention to the verb I'm introducing to you today. Next thing is 연구. What we do with 연구 is to apply. So it's called 바르다. 연구를 바르다. Next, 붕대. 붕대를 감다. And then, 실밥. 실밥을 뽑다. It hurts. Next, 골절. 골절이 있다. 두통? 두통이 있다. 뇌진탕. 뇌진탕에 걸리다. Ice. 얼음찜질. 얼음찜질을 하다. 목발. 목발을 집다. You have to use crutches when you are in a cast. So it's called 깁스. 깁스를 하다. 열. 열이 나다. From now on, I'd like to talk about other important verbs. 꿰매다. 상처를 꿰매다. 베이다. 종이에 베이다. 삐다. 발목을 삐다. 부러지다. 뼈가 부러지다. It means the same as 골절. 까지다. 발 뒤꿈치가 까지다. Next thing is pain. When you have a pain, you say 아프다. 어디가 아프다. 머리가 아프다. 목이 아프다. 팔이 아프다. Or another advanced way to say that is 통증이 있다. 통증이 있다. 머리에 통증이 있다. 등에 통증이 있다. 허리에 통증이 있다. 만성통증, 급성통증. There are different ways to describe pain. Firstly, 따끔따끔하다. We can also say 따끔거리다. 이상하게 발이 따끔따끔하네. 발이 따끔거려. 타는 것 같다. This one is a bit sad. And it's really painful. 타는 것 같다. This is the burning pain. And it's often experienced when you have neurological pain. And then, 저릿저릿하다. 오래 앉아있다 일어났더니 다리가 저릿저릿해. 다리가 저려. And then, 찌르는 듯하다. 찌르는 듯하다. 경련이 일어나다. 경련이 일어나다. The last thing I want to tell you about is medication. So, in the world, there are lots of types of medication. But basically, most of them, 알약. 알약. But there are also 가루약. And 물약. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson and we'll see you in another lesson. Until then, bye bye. Mm.